Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 2, Lesson 12, Navigating a Table of Equivalent Ratios. The objective says I can solve problems about situations happening at the same rate by using a table and finding a one row, or in other words, finding a unit rate. Lynn is paid $90 for five hours of work. She used the following table to calculate how much she would be paid at this rate for eight hours of work. So she created this table that shows amount earned in one column and time worked in hours in another column. And so she inserted that original value, $90 in five hours. She chose to find her rate. How much does she get paid? Her unit rate, how much does she get paid for one hour of work? So she took that five and turned it into a one by multiplying by one-fifth or by dividing by five. And then she turned that 90 into 18 by doing the same, multiplying by one-fifth or dividing by five. So then she figured out she makes $18 per hour. So now that she knows that she makes $18 an hour, she can use that rate to uh, figure out how much she would make no matter the hours. So, for example, she showed you that if she worked eight hours, then she would make eight times as much. 18 times eight is $144. So at this rate, how much would Lynn be paid for three hours of work? So if she's paid that same rate for three hours, how much would she make? Well, I'm gonna put that three in the time column and then realize that I'm just making the uh, value or the amount of time, she's working three times as many hours as one hour. So then I would take that hourly rate of $18 an hour and I would multiply it by three and she would make $54 in three hours. Well, how much would she make for two and one-tenths of an hour? So one-tenth of an hour would be one-tenth of 60 or six minutes. So if she worked two hours and six minutes exactly, how much would she make? Well, again, she would take that hourly rate and she would multiply it by two and one-tenth. That's how, how many hours that she worked. So she would take 18 and multiply it by two and one-tenth. And she would get $37.80 if she worked two hours and 16 minutes. The objective says I can solve problems about situations happening at the same rate by using a table and finding a one row. So when we find a one row, whether that's the amount she earns in one hour or how long it takes her to earn one dollar, we can take that one and multiply it by any other value and it makes growing our table of equivalent ratios even easier because one times any number is easy to calculate and so a lot of the work is already done and we just have to work with the opposite column. Thanks for watching.